All right, Coach, we'll start with you. Thoughts on game and, and senior day as well as senior year class? Yeah, I, I mean, super excited for the win. Um, excited for how the guys play. Really strong first half. Uh, seniors, you know, you could go on and on about this group. Uh, both groups, you know, are, are fourth and fifth years. The guys that came in in 2020 and 2021 uh, and, and have believed in, you know, what we've started here and what we're building and the culture. And, you know, here we are four or five years later uh, with them, and they're perfect in conference. Uh, they've won four conference titles, been three national titles. You know, it's, you can't ask for more than, than what they've done for us on and off the field. So, you know, to me, the, the game, the experience, what you take away from, you know, particularly this game at Senior Day is how grateful we are for this, this group of seniors, and, you know, some of them are up here, and, um, you know, I told them, we're going to ride you guys back as long as we can. Try and keep playing football when we get a time. I guess I guess I'll go first. Um, Chuck, I want to start with you first off. Three touchdowns for you today. I think it's, if I remember correctly, this is your biggest you know rushing touchdown day in your career for North Central. Kind of walk me through what some of the process was leading up today. I mean, I've, I've asked Jordan, I've asked Sean about the embarrassment of riches is what we've labeled it of the running back room. I mean, what how does it feel to be a part of this this big group of guys and that? Whoever steps in, you know, hey, we're going to be fun. Yeah, um, we're all close. Um, outside of football, we we're all, you know, really close. And I think we just feed off each other. You know, we listen to each other. We uh, trust each other. And uh, whether it's, you know, me on the field, whether it's Joe on the field, no matter who's on the field, you know, we trust what's going on. And we just practice how we play. Um, we, we hold each other accountable in practice. And um, when that time comes, we know that, you know, who's ever in is ready. It's really something incredible to watch every week of who's going to be the next man up. And Really excited to see how the rest of the season plays out. But, Jessica, I kind of want to ask you this question. 708 total yards of offense today, which is simply something that, if you said that in a normal college football game, you'd be asking how, but for North Central, this has become regular. How do you feel being a part of just this offensive line that really openly helps create all of these plays and just helping Luke and the rest of the offense kind of carry themselves into a much higher position? I mean, you're an All-American, All-Conference, you know, a bazillion times at this point. What's kind of your emotional reaction to getting another 700 yard game and really being a part of this really great offense? Yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm really proud of the guys. You know, we have a lot of people, uh, you know, last year we had a lot of three year starters and a lot of experience on the line. So we had some growing pains early on and I just love to see how far we've came this year. Uh, it's just awesome, you know, every week it's us versus us um, and just to be able to do this and, you know, execute the way we want to execute. Uh, you know, it's going to prepare us for down the road and, you know, get to where we want to go. Uh, I'll talk about the defense now. I have a question for Angelo Cusimano. I don't know if these calculations are fully correct. I couldn't see the first and uh, second half splits, but I counted about 187 yards given up in the first half on the defense, obviously. You guys set a certain level. And it seemed like you guys were getting burnt deep in the secondary in the first half. What adjustments did you make going into the second half to be able to lock that down and not give up nearly as many yards in the second half? Uh, coming into the game, we knew the running back was really good and the receiver number one was really good. So we were stressing the importance of staying top down on him. And we were just letting him get behind us. And then coming out of halftime, we made the adjustments and really stressed the importance of limiting the explosive plays, which resulted in a better second half. Thanks, everybody. Cool. Thank you.